What's your name? That's a... Your name's Asher? Mm-hmm. <laughs> Do you want to tell them a joke? Oh. That's quite a joke. Good job. Where'd you hear that joke from? I don't know. Did you make it up? Yes. Good job. High five. <laughs> what do you what do you have on your hat? Hair. Hair? <laughs> no, who's on who's on your hat right now? Mario. Mario! Is he your favorite? No, Luigi's my favorite. Oh, Luigi. Okay, makes sense. The underdog. I like that in a man. I mean, I like Mario and Luigi. You like them both? Mm-hmm. Yeah? Mm-hmm. Do you want Mario and Luigi slippers for Christmas? Mm-hmm. Yeah. <laughs> so this is my youngest baby, Asher, and he has been really wanting to be in a video with me since the older two have been in, um, I think, two of the videos now. They were... In the video where they did my makeup which was a glorious little time if you haven't checked that out then go ahead and feel free it was pretty funny and then they were in the video with me and my husband where um, it was like the Halloween theme video and they played zombies in the video and I thought that it would scare Asher to see them as zombies but he watches that video all the time and thinks that video is hilarious and he's always like let's watch a scary video so Maybe it wouldn't have scared him, so I promised him that next year we'll do another Halloween <laughs> theme video and um, he can be in that one. Does that sound good? Mm-hmm. Yeah? Mm-hmm. Are you excited to see yourself on this? Mm-hmm. Yeah? Mm -hmm. You want to show him what you're holding? Mm-hmm. Show him. Oh, that's the back of it. Can you turn it around? There you go. So today's video, I'm going to be using the um, new products that I got from Ulta. I have a an Ulta and Bath and Body Works haul video that I posted, I think last week. So if you haven't checked it out, go do so. Um, but today I'm gonna be using those products and see how I like them. This is one of the products that I'm really excited about using. This is an eyeshadow uh, palette. And then it, it has some larger pan shadows too that I think would be really good for maybe highlight and blush. So I'm gonna try those out. Yeah? Okay, so this was the intro. Stay tuned. Say bye, Asher. Bye. <laughs>
Okay, I'm gonna get the sucker close to my face and really take a good look. Um, I mean, it looks good. It definitely looks like I used a brush to apply it, which I feel like is why I don't use brushes, is because I can like see stroke lines a little bit. But I can just go ahead and go over it with my beauty blender, or my sponge, it's not a beauty blender, with my sponge. Um, and hopefully that will help. I wanna make sure it's really blended down my neck. So I'm just going over this with my sponge. Make sure it's all nice and blended and there's no cakiness or creasing or lines anywhere from the brush. I hate it when my lips have foundation, especially like full coverage foundation, like I look like the Crip Keeper. Okay, so what I think I'm gonna do, because I did get two concealers at Ulta the other day, so I got the Juvia's Place. Um, I think this is the Eye Magic. Is it Eye Magic? I think it's the same line, I don't know. But um, the Juvia's Place concealer in the shade 22, and then I got the Sharp, Sharp, the Tarte Shape Tape in the shade 125 Fair. So I think I'm gonna try both of them. They are different. Um, I don't know if the colors are a little bit different, but what do I always say, folks? YOLO. You can wash this crap right off. I'm not going to go in with a ton because what I've heard about both of these concealers is that they are extremely full coverage. So this side is the Juvia's Place, and then on this side, I'm going to go in with the Tarte. Um, I would say the Juvia's Place is definitely a little darker and a little bit more um, yellow toned than the Tarte is. So I'm gonna use my sponge and blend those out. So first impressions on both of those concealers. Um, the Julius Place Concealer blended out like a dream. It was very flawless. It looks unbelievably flawless. I have very minimal amount of lines under my eyes. I do kind of have lines anyway. It's really nothing I can do about it, but um, it's not like, don't use yellow, um, what is it called? Nail polish, because it will stain your fingernails. Forewarning. So I'm seeing myself like as I touch, or pretend to touch my face and I'm like, what the, looks like I'm rolling my own freaking cigarettes and I'm grabbing all over tobacco. Ew. Anyways, so the Juvia's Place Concealer paired gorgeously with the Juvia's Place Foundation, which I would expect it to do. If it didn't, that would probably be a very large problem for Juvia's Place. So it looks amazing. I would say the shade isn't doing a ton of brightening because it's a little bit, like I said, it's a little bit darker than the Tarte Concealer and a little bit more yellow toned. And I am not really yellow toned. I'm more of a, in my opinion, like I, I like neutral tones on my skin a little better than yellow tones because I'm pretty fair. So um, the Tarte Concealer it is not looking great. It's definitely, sorry, I'm like covering my face. It's def, there's definitely a lot of lines, especially on my eyelid. Um, it's just not looking the best. That could be that it just doesn't pair beautifully with the foundation. So I'm certainly going to like, I'm not going to write this concealer off or anything like that. I think that, you know, different concealers pair nicely with different foundations and different powders. I could very easily put my powder on and turn this a little bit not great concealer situation into something amazing and magical. So it's not too much of a concern for me. Um, it didn't brighten as much as I expected that it would either, considering it's so light. So I'm going to go ahead, since it's the lightest, I'm going to go ahead and put the Tarte Concealer right down the center of my face. Not using a ton. Um, I, I don't know how people use a ton without looking extremely cakey. Maybe they do look cakey and just like the lights hide it. I don't know, but... 
I hate cakiness. I can't stand it. And even if lights are hiding it, like I'm going to see it. And I'm just not about that life. You know, I'm trying to look, I'm trying to look smooth and flawless. I'm trying to look like I have perfect effing skin. You know, what's the point in foundation without that? Anyways, um, I'm going to go ahead and just use my Fenty powder really quick. I didn't get any new powder at Ulta. And then I'll come back and we're going to try some bronzer. See how it works. Okay, so I went ahead and put the powder, the Fenty powder on um, my face under my eyes. The foundation was left a little tacky, like not a ton, but a little bit. So I just kind of put some around here as well where I'm going to be blending bronzer. Um, and then I took off my sweater because it's like hot in here. It's always so hot in here with the lights on, like crazy hot. I don't know really how to fix that, but it's a thing. So I am going to be using for my eyes and for parts of my face. I'm going to be using the um, Rachel Leary um, and Makeup Revolution London eyeshadow palette. Um, it is gorgeous and amazing. I'm going to go ahead and use, I think I'm going to use brawn. I think the word is brawn. I'm going to use brawn to bronze up a little bit. Ooh, dipping in first dip. It's like quite pigmented. I legit can't breathe. So I'm going to dip right into this palette again for my blush. I'm going to use the shade. I'm guessing it's rosé because it has like a little on top of the E, which would be A, right? Like A, A, like Fonzie. What does he do? A. Ooh. Mm hmm that's pretty so I think since I tried two of the face pans or whatever you'd call them in here the bronzer and the blush I'm gonna go in with my Catrice um, and e Eman Iman I don't know highlighting palette and get my brush here and I think I'm gonna go in with Surrey is it Surrey which is this nice, pretty, kind of pinkish tone highlight. And see how that does. That's very pretty. That is very, very pretty. I really like it. Just to fill a little extra, I'm going to go right on top of that with a Victoria, which is this like light goldenish shade. Ooh, it's kind of powdery. A lot of it came off when I dipped my brush in. Ooh, that just like brought it up to next level. Holy crap. Gotta be careful. I'm gonna stop traffic with this glow. <laughs> that, that didn't make a lot of sense, did it? This is a beautiful highlighting palette 100% recommend if you're if you're fair toned like I am so I'm actually super excited I'm very excited I've been, I'm excited about all this but I am very excited to try the setting spray but I am having a hard time deciding which one I want to use uh, I don't know I can't figure it out this is illuminating this is the morphe setting spray you know what, I'm just going to go with the Catrice Illuminating because I feel like being illuminating today. Look at this highlight. You can't wear a highlight like this and not, like, illuminate, right? So, I'm so excited to use this palette in my eyes. I'm going to zoom you guys in a little bit, and then we are going to get started with this hopefully lovely look. So I think I'm gonna start by using Passion Fruit Martini, which is a nice, lovely, like, peachy orange color. I'm gonna work that through my crease, just to lay that base for the rest of the eyeshadows. The shade's not the most pigmented, for sure. Definitely having to dip back in several times to um, get that color payoff. 
and it looks a little bit more yellow toned than it does in pan. So tomorrow is Thanksgiving. I think I have everything ready except for one thing. I realized today, so my husband, as you know, if you've watched several of my videos, um, is really into like building, he builds things, yada, yada, yada. Um, but he used my turkey baster for something. I can't remember what. I feel like it was in like the summertime. He, so I'm sorry, I forgot to mention. He's into building things. He all he also helps with like repairs. He's good with his hands, which I've said several times. But he has repaired and replaced several things in our home since we bought it a few years ago, and we're not even done yet. But I think he used the turkey baster to like do something when we replace one of the toilets. I don't know. But it was the summer. It was over the summer, I think. And he told me, like, I was like, don't you dare use my turkey baster because before we know it, it's going to be a freaking Thanksgiving and I'm going to need that turkey baster to get a delicious moist turkey. And he was like, oh, don't worry about it. Don't worry about it. I'm going to buy you a new turkey baster before then. It'll be fine. It'll be fine. Well, guess what? Tomorrow's Thanksgiving. I'm going to tell you what I don't have. Yeah, you guessed it. I don't have a turkey baster. So um, I texted him because I just realized that I went, I was out at Walgreens today because Thanksgiving is also landing on my mom's birthday this year. So happy birthday to my mom tomorrow. Um, so I needed to get her gift. Um, yeah, I know last minute procrastination is what I do best. But anyway, so I was at Walgreens and I kept telling myself last night, Nicole, don't forget the turkey baster. Don't forget the turkey baster. Well, I forgot the freaking turkey baster because I didn't even remember that I needed it this today at all at any point. It just like completely went out of my brain. So I text him and I'm going to go in with a little bit of Tantastic, which is a little like orangey-ish, like a burnt orange shade. Um, and just kind of test it and see how it, yeah, it's like not very pigmented, but <laughs> it's fine. We're going to work with it. Um, I texted him and I was like, um, so you owe me a turkey baster. And he was like, what? Whoops, sorry. And I'm like, don't be sorry. Like, you don't need to be sorry, but, um, I need one by tomorrow. So chop, chop, my friend. I'm going to baby girl. And I think that's a perfect name for a bright pink shade. Look, What? I'm a little frustrated with these shades. The face shades in this palette, I mean, I think they're for the face. They're larger pan size, I would assume. They are so unbelievably pigmented. And I was like, oh my God, like I am gonna have an extremely amazingly pigmented um, palette on my hands here, but it doesn't seem like the whole thing is like that. <sighs> Which is okay, it's just a little disappointing, but I can work with it still. Okay, so using the same brush, I'm gonna dip into Fine Wine, which is like a nice berry shade. Add that on top of the pink baby girl shade. For the most part, maybe not all the way up, probably not gonna go as far up on my eyelid as I did with baby girl, but just kind of in that crease. 70%, which is like this like reddish toned brown color. Holy crap. Okay, that is pigmented. That's not what I expected. Um, and look at that, look, it's like, oh, I don't even want to do that. <laughs> This is what I mean about sometimes shadows do things you don't want them to do if they're too pigmented. Like, I, okay. Um, let's just go ahead and blend that on out. Let's see. Okay, so it's hella pigmented. It goes on intense. It grabs. And then when you blend it, guess what it does? It blends away into... Not nothing, it definitely added some deepness there, but into not much. 
all of my children are home right now. Usually when I film, the two older, oldest boys are in school. And it's just me and Asher, but they're all home right now. And um, they're loud. And they fight all the time. Oh my God, my kids fight all the time. Not so much Josiah, my oldest, but um, God, my two youngest, Eli and Asher, are always fighting. They're always fighting. They're always bickering. The kisses, which is this really nice, like, pinky purple color. And I'm going to lay that on my lid. So the shade is also patchy. Um, I'm dipping in several times. It's definitely giving me the color payoff once I dip in over and over and over and over. But that's obviously not ideal. So right now, today, what is the date? November 27th. The video with my husband doing my makeup is at I think almost 900 views which is not a lot to a lot of people but to me um it is a ton because i have like not i haven't been on here long right i have like 60 something subscribers so to me that's a ton and i'm so unbelievably grateful and thank you guys so much i love it and so excited because i mean within a week at least i mean maybe less within a week <sighs> within a week or less it's going to hit a thousand and that means that I'm going to do his makeup. <laughs> this couldn't be, there could not be a better video of mine to hit that thousand mark because, uh, it's going to be amazing. Oh, I'm so excited. I'm so excited. He's not excited. <laughs> He's like trying to go back on it. Cause I, when he made the original, original, original deal like he didn't think that it was actually gonna happen right he was like it's not gonna happen but it's happened and i'm so happy so what i'm gonna go ahead and do is i am going to um pop on my eyelashes i'm gonna use the, some of the new eyelashes that i got i got these ardell 3d faux mink eyelashes in 854 so i'm gonna pop those on and then i'm going to do my eyebrows and then we will be right back to do the bottom of the eye and complete this look and hopefully pull it all together because um it needs to be pulled together so be right back okay we are back that was a freaking struggle for me to say the least but I got it done the eyelashes are like bothering my eyes a little bit um and I feel like I don't know I actually I don't know if it's the eyelashes or if it's the eyeshadow um, I think it's the eyelashes because it started when I put the eyelashes on, but my eyes are a little bit red and bothered. I kind of want to do something different on the bottom other than just like this pink. Um, which is hard because I'm like, what's going to go with screw it. I'm just going to do like an, I'm going to do the, the green color. I, I mean, what? do I have to lose? Let me swatch that for you. It's shimmery, but you know what? I don't care. So this is the green color. It's called Cash. I don't know if that's picking up very well, but it's um, pretty. So I'm going to go ahead first. I'm going to go in with Oh Honey, which is like a yellow toned color, yellowish orange color. I'm going to place that underneath my eyelid. I want to keep calling it that. I'm going to place that in the bottom of my eye and blend that out a little bit just to set that base. Just using um, the Vintage Cosmetic Company brush, and I'm going to go in with an e.l.f. brush, and I'm going to pack that green sparkly shade called Cash under my eye. So this shade is pulling a little bit more, what would be the color that I would use to call this shade? Um, puke green. <laughs> it's pulling a little bit more puke green than like the the olive green that it is in the pan. I'm gonna pop in 
my inner corner. Let's see. I think I'm going to go in with glazed. I mean, right? Why not? Let's do this thingy. Ooh. I like glazed. Okay, last but not least, I am going to use, um, my hands are so dirty, they're driving me crazy. I'm going to use one of these Kylie Cosmetics shades. Well, not one of them. I know which one I'm using, so I'm not going to use the bright red with a pink and puke green lid color. <laughs> so, I'm going to go ahead and go in with the shade... I believe this is Charm, and I haven't tried these yet, so we'll see how this goes. So, putting that on, it feels really good on my lips. It smells amazing, but it's not like overpowering the smell. Um, it looks really nice. It applied really evenly and beautifully. It's um, not fully dried down right away, which I enjoy. Sometimes it's hard when you're dealing with liquid lipstick that dries instantaneously when you put it on your lips because when you try to go over it again with a second layer or fix something it can get really difficult so I like how I was able to work with this lipstick when I was putting it on as I was putting it on I put on the setting spray and that kind of set down it took away any of the cakiness from the foundation so so far so good with that I'm not sure how it would have done with another setting spray I can always test that again another time um, right now, as it sounds, as it sounds, as it stands, I will definitely be using this foundation quite a bit. It is very full coverage, which is not always my taste, but this, it make my skin looks amazing. I'm really liking it. The highlight is bomb. I think I'm going to put a little bit more of the blush over top though, because I forgot to do that. And I really like doing that. I've been liking, like applying a little bit of blush and then um, the highlight and then a little bit more blush on top because I just feel like it kind of makes it look more like um, a glow from within sort of thing if you know what I mean which I dig I mean I'm definitely not glowing from within I'm like a dead old crusty thing but if I can make myself look like it then hells yeah right so I would say that I'm like 50 50 on the things that I bought um, I like the foundation so far. I like the concealers so far. Mostly the Juvia's Place, not going to lie. I think that performed better than the Tarte Shape Tape so far, but it could have just been without foundation. Um, I really like the highlighting palette. I like the formula of the liquid, liquid lipstick so far. Um, I like the setting spray so far. I still have to try the Morphe. Um, the Makeup Revolution um, X Rachel Leary palette is... I definitely feel like it's... with. The shades in here, or the pans in here, are a hit, and, hit or miss. The face shades seem to be amazing and beautiful and work really well. I haven't tried all of them, obviously. I'll get around to that. But the ones that I did use worked amazing. The eyeshadows, eh, not so much. I wasn't very impressed. I do feel like, that, like I said, I feel like if you're a beginner, then this might be a good palette for you because you definitely have to, like, build it up. There's no, um, not a ton, anyway, a little bit, but not a ton of, like, Oh crap, like that was so pigmented that I just effed this whole look up. So if you're into that, then you might be into this. Anyways, thank you so much for watching this video. Happy Thanksgiving, everyone. I am so grateful for all for all of you. I'm thankful for all of you. And I'm so thankful for those of you who have watched the video where my husband does my makeup. So that we're almost to a thousand, like I mentioned earlier, which means I'll be doing his makeup in a video soon, which I'm so excited to gift you all with and to gift myself with. It's going to be amazing. Um, yeah, I hope you all have an amazing Thanksgiving and just enjoy life. You know, you only live once, right? So just enjoy it the best you can. Thanks so much for watching. Bye.